Ladies and gentlemen, inside Hayes Gymnasium here on the campus of North Greenville University where Christ makes a difference. Tonight, it is senior night for men's volleyball as they will honor the four seniors on this team by taking on the Limestone College Saints just down the road in Gaffney, South Carolina here on this Saturday night. Grace Allen, Alan Ellis with you tonight as we get ready for an exciting senior night 
in men's volleyball. Allen, these three of these four seniors have been on this team since the inception uh, with coach, uh, head coach Fred Battenfield. You look at number seven, Silas, Silas Jenkins, number two, Dustin King, and the big one, number 15, Matthew McManaway. And those three are all going to be huge factors for this game. All of them have been fantastic parts. Silas not so much in recent years, but you look at Matthew McManaway, you look at what you look at what uh, Dustin King's been able to do from the Lavera spot. There have been incredible players, and they're going to try and do their best to put their mark on this game tonight. Also like to recognize number 14, Dion Vidal, a graduate transfer out of Bob Jones University. He is listed as a senior getting his last playing time here on the home court floor out of Salisbury, Dominica. Limestone comes into tonight. 8-18 Eight overall, 5-10 within the Conference Carolinas. North Greenville 11-15, 5-9 in the Conference Carolinas. Only, North Greenville only a game ahead of Limestone in the standings. That's the difference, difference between 5th and 6th right now. Number two, Anthony Savage set to start us off. And we are underway. And false start gonna be called against North Greenville. Somebody flinching on the Crusader side of things. And that's going to put Limestone up a point. And that can just honestly be attributed to, you know, senior night jitters. It's just an exciting night. Just getting it started is the hard part. And Savage is a player to watch for Limestone. Leads a team with 249 kills on the season, 2.71 kills per set. That is second on the team. That 249 kills on the season, nothing to sneeze at. Now Ben, ben Hamshow comes onto the floor. McManaway's off after a point. And slow going here trying to get this game underway. Savage on the serve and drops it in the corner for the ace. Now Savage has had all three serves. King able to get underneath this one. Bulldog going over to the near side post and it is Kyle Brandt sneaking into the starting lineup, and he gets credit for the kill. Brent has one more year left for this North Greenville squad, a junior out of Rock Hill, North Carolina. Now Limestone on the attack, they'll go down the middle and get it off the hand of number seven, James Loftus. Different server now, Loftus back over to Brandt. Bulldog gonna set up for Hampshire, trying to go short side over, can't do it. Limestone just hits it over with Savage. And Hampshire at the net, two on one. Hampshire not a problem for him, gets a point. Matched up against the block at number 12, Logan Riley, and number 14, Jarrett Malone. Serve in by Brandt. Savage just does get underneath that, and Hamsho gets the ricochet and fires it right back at Limestone for the point. And this, this night might be about the seniors, but a lot of these underclassmen want to make their mark too, and Ben Hamsho showing out early. Hamsho wrapping up his sophomore campaign out of Wheaton, Illinois. And Brandt pushes it out for the first service error of the game. That, needless to say, Needless to say, has been quite the problem this season for North Greenville. A lot of sets won and lost on these airs, and North Greenville's been struggling on the season with them. <laughs> Serving by Limestone, and they hit one high and out off the hand of number six, Francisco Senzual, freshman out of Argentina. Serve in here by Hamshow. 
Limestone set up at the net, blocked back in play, a one-handed save by Senzuel. Limestone no choice but to just hit it over. Now North Greenville on the attack with McMahon away. And again, a great save by the Saints libero. And North Greenville will take the point after Savage hits it high and out. Saints libero, Florian Rum might be a, another player to watch tonight for Limestone as Hamshow puts it out of bounds for the service there. Two nice defensive digs there to forestall the North Greenville attack. We're tied at five here in the first set. Serve in over to Silas Jenkins getting a start on senior night. This will go to Jackson Gilbert and bounces it off the Saints libero for the point. Nice way to put an exclamation point on your kill. Jackson Gilbert He's got 237 of those on the season. That leads the NGU team. And Aaron Campbell comes in to serve. And the Saints again push another one out of bounds. And just a good job by McManaway and Gilbert just to split the block, just move the hands and hope that was sailing out of bounds. North Greenville now with a two-point lead, 7-5. Campbell on the serve, over to Rum. Set up by Riley, they'll go far post, and Jenkins with the dig, but it catches the rafter, and the point's gonna go back to Limestone. It's a nice dig, just didn't have the result he was hoping for. And if you're new to North Greenville men's, well, volleyball in general, uh, both men's and women's, the low ceiling here at Hayes Gymnasium, a definite factor is McManaway trying to go with the no look over the net. Doesn't fall, and now here comes Gilbert. He gets the touch, and will get it to the floor. And that's a nice kill by Gilbert, but not only was McManaway setting that up with a no-look, did it backhand behind the back while he was at it. And not often you see that. And Gilbert, far side corner serve, fires it in. And McManaway right back to him. There's the senior. Crowd likes that. You can't give a six foot seven guy an opportunity to fire the shot right back at you. Gilbert on the serve there for North Greenville. Here comes Savage off the far post. Jenkins dives for it, but it gets by him. And the Saints get a point back. And here's Richard Jr. setter for Limestone, he serves in. Bulldog gonna set up for McManaway, had to adjust to it. And it goes off the setter's arms, Riley back over. Now they'll give Brant a shot at it, and he gets it down past Rivera. Catching the freshman for Limestone. Limestone a fairly young team as well. Only one senior on this squad, two juniors, no sophomores, the rest freshmen. Steve Benson leading the way for the Limestone College Saints, captain of the ship. Serving, go to Brant, Bulldog gonna set up for Gilbert. And North Greenville gave him a runway and he was cleared for takeoff and the kill. And just watch that one again. Just jumps right off the U and Superman punches that one back over. Yeah, that 10 foot line goes right through the left side of the U. That's where he jumped and Gilbert still managed to sail a good five feet close, five feet forward to the net. You know, like Jordan dunking from the free throw line. It can be done. 11-9, North Greenville leads by two. Start starting to settle into that two, three point lead. It spins off the hands of Gilbert on the serve. King gets to it, Hampshire knocks it over. Now Limestone on the attack, near post. Good dig by Bulldog, this one's gonna go to the joust. Hampshire wins that one. Not done yet, off the block from, Lo off the North Greenville block. King over to Brandt and slips. That one looks like it caught a bit of the rafter on the way down. Point to Limestone, they draw within one. And 
this is Loftus back to serve. And he puts it high and out. Loftus certainly a wind up to the serve we haven't seen. Kind of kicks his leg up almost like he's on the mound throwing a baseball. So North Greenville starting to take advantage of the limestone service errors. They're up by two. They go down the middle. Savage dug by Bulldog. And limestone going to be called for and too far over the net. Kyle Brandt back to serve, sends it in. Pushed forward, Riley will set up. And another good dig by King, but again catches a rafter as Rivera showing off the power. And Limestone bringing the heat. North Green was getting underneath it, but it's kind of hard to catch it off the rafter because it's got to stay on your side until you can get it over. Can't go over the side of the net, catch a rafter, and bounce back over. And so we found out many times. There's Gilbert pushing one out, no touch called. And Limestone back within one. Same song North Greensville has been dealing with all season. Committing errors to let teams get back in the game. have had pretty decent leads against several decent opponents. But this is what's been killing them. Serve in from Senzual. Now Bulldog going to set up for Campbell. Stop there by Savage. Now here comes Rivera. King with the dig. And Gilbert swats it over. Limestone the third attack. And it'll drop in front of Bulldog. And Geraldo Rivera, the outside hitting freshman from Carolina, Puerto Rico, will take credit for that one. Serve from Senzuo goes over to Brant. Bulldog running set. Campbell has to hit it over from the 10 foot line. Riley setting up down the middle. Blocked. And that's going to sit. And that's going to fall as Jarrett Malone nowhere to go. Good job by Hamshow and the rest of the Crusaders on that one. Hamshow now has to rotate back to serve. Campbell, McManaway, and Gilbert stack up close to the net to serve. And. Hamshow, bad contact on the serve, puts it in the net, and we're tied at 14. Serve from Rivera over to Brandt. Bulldog going to set up for Gilbert after Bulldog and McManaway get tangled up. And a good block there. Is that inbounds? Yes, it is. McManaway blocks Savage for the point. Give Campbell some love for that one, too. Combo block. Campbell's got the serve. Drops it over to Rum. Riley going to set up over for Savage. Goes off speed and catches the red and white pole that marks the edges of the boundary line. As it crosses under the net, and Savage caught a piece of it. That's a point to NGU. You can't contact the antenna that poke up out of the net as Campbell puts one out of bounds on the service there. And now here is Malone on the serve. Over to Gilbert. Bulldog going to set up for it. Back to Gilbert, and he catches the line. Two-point advantage again for North Greenville. That's the magic number you need to win by. Gilbert on the serve, short into the net. It has taken a while for the service errors to get going, but they have resurfaced once more. There's Bulldog. He'll set up for Brant. Blocked. McManaway recovers it. Bulldog going to set back up to him. Two-handed pushover by McManaway. Rum going to set up for Sensual. 
who is blocked by Brandt and McManaway. Matt McManaway just continuing to put on his own senior showcase. And fires the serve and trims the net but makes it over. Riley going to set up another big block there against Loftus. And now to Savage. Campbell with the dig. Bulldog going for that center tip. The Saints ready for that one. And Sanzul hits it over. On screen will now on the attack. Here's Brandt over the blockers. Recovered by Riley. And a whistle. Point's going to go to NGU. A double hit called against Limestone. Three point lead and the Saints will take a timeout. North Greenville's up 19-16 over Limestone. Here on senior night with this Conference Carolinas matchup. We'll take it with them. Bring back here for more men's volleyball from Mays Gymnasium on the North Greenville Sports Network. Saints have burned one of their two timeouts. They're allowed per set. Try and swing back, swing things back their way. Down three to North Greenville. North Greenville trying to snap a four-game losing streak. In that, in that four-game losing streak, they have won one set. Been swept the three other times. Right tapper over doesn't fall, but rebound shot from Senzuel sends it to the back line. It stays in. And so the timeout appears to have worked for the moment. Here is Savage on the serve line drive right to Gilbert. Bulldog going to set up for Hampshire. Rejected at the net by Loftus. Nineteen eighteen, limestone within one. Savage out of bounds. Good job of, by Kyle Brandt to duck underneath it. Here is Bulldog on the serve. He's gonna catch a piece of the roof on the way down, and Riley not ready for it. And so the roof is favorable to North Greenville tonight's three-point lead. There's your first NGU ace of the day. Bulldog on the serve. He's got an interesting serve. Has a run up to it as Riley sets up for Rivera. North Greenville gets underneath it. Here comes the set to Campbell. Pushes it with his right hand. Normally the lefty Campbell as Bulldog got the save, but it's going to get tangled up in the basketball goal on the way down. Limestone takes a point. They'll get the serve back. Change here made is number nine, Drew. Amaro will come in for number seven, Loftus. Serve in from Amaro. Over to Brandt. Bulldog going to set up for Hampshire. Trying to go off speed and gets it down. And that's a trick Hampshire should honestly do a lot more often. Been known for his power. Why not try some off speed stuff? Another change for the Saints. Rome the Libero back in. Number 14, Malone, he's back in, so. And here's the senior for North Greenville. Ah, number 14, Dion Vidal. The fan favorite within the gym as Vidal puts it in the net. Service there against Limestone back in two. Actually managed to win a match 
for North Greenville on a service ace at a when the score was 24 to 23 last month. And Limestone returns the favor since Uol puts it in the net. 23-20, North Greenville with a three-point lead. Saints with one timeout to spins left. North Greenville still their full complement of two. Serve in there from Arland Rosebaugh as Limestone sets up far post with Rivera. Blocked out of bounds by McManaway and Campbell, so Limestone gets one back. Yeah, just unfortunately for North Greenville, spun the wrong way. Was up in position and did the right thing, but hands just facing outward instead of inward. Rojba out, Silas Jenkins back in as Vidal handles the serve. Bulldog going to set up for McManaway, and he catches the sideline for the point. And set point, North Greenville, 24-21. This is a side North Greenville hasn't seen in a while as Limestone takes their final time out of the set. Yeah, a rare opportunity here for North Greenville to go up a set to take the opening set. Normally, North Greenville has struggled in the first two sets. And by the third set, they've got going, but by then you have to dig yourself out of the hole. So North Greenville off to the quick start, up 24-21. Saints out of timeouts for the first set. As starting to get down to crunch time in the Conference Carolinas men's volleyball standings, 10 days left until the start of the conference tournament. King and Barton tied the top the standings 15 and 1. And then it's four games back to Mount Olive. So the Tornado and the Bulldogs have to decide who's going to get that number one spot and host advantage. And Belmont Abbey, two more games back of Mount Olive in fourth. And then North Greenville, two games back from Belmont Abbey in fifth. So again, North Greenville knocking on the door of getting a home playoff game, but got to win tonight. And then in your next matchup against Belmont Abbey. Campbell starts us off. North Greenville here at set point. The Saints go to the far post. What's the call? Blocked out of bounds by McManaway. So Limestone will live to see another one. If this is anything like the last, the first time that Limestone took a timeout, two quick points, just missed a third one. That's all they need to tie it back up. Serve from Malone. Bulldog will set up for Gilbert off the block, a one-handed save. Saints trying to rally, they go to Savage. Jenkins got to the stop, here's Gilbert. And the early whistle is a double hit called against North Greenville, the Saints. Battle it back to 24-23, last set point here for NGU as Brandt in, Vidal out. And Malone, high pressure serve, and now North Greenville with a timeout. That leaves NGU with a timeout left in this set. 24-23, still set point. North Greenville sitting at a whopping 391 attack percentage, 11 kills on 23 attacks, only two errors. But the service error is still a problem, eight of those to only one ace. Jackson Gilbert leads the way for NGU, four kills on six attacks. Brant's got two of four. Hamshev's three of five, McManaway two of six. Rivera leading the way for Limestone. Three's three for five. Savage has seen the most. Three kills on 11 attacks, but has committed four errors. Last chance here for North Greenville to win it as Malone serves in. Tries to go short. Gilbert gets to it, and the set to McManaway is blocked. And so Limestone ties it up at 24. Got up at 24, still need two to win. 25th point isn't actually the win here. And another short serve from Malone. North Greenville ready for it again. Here's Gilbert firing, and he catches the, the antenna. That's 
it's a limestone point, and North Greenville burns their second timeout. Twenty-five, twenty-four advantage to Limestone. And still waiting to decide a winner of set one. Pretty important day here around NGU baseball, trying to wrap up the series and sweep Mount Olive. They fell a run short. Losing the, losing the series finale 6-5. They do, however, take the series and own the head-to-head -head over Mount Olive. And that is very crucial if North Greenville can finish out their conference series. I think they've got Barton and Limestone left on the schedule. If they can get those series wins, then things are looking pretty good for Coach Landon Powell and NGU to clinch the number one seed and a regular season conference title. And back underway here at Hayes Gymnasium for men's volleyball. A short serve from Malone. They keep getting shorter and shorter as Gilbert sails it out of bounds. And Limestone will come back from 24-21 to take the first set, 26-24. The Saints ended on a 5-0 run. Heading on to set two, Limestone will have the set advantage. Behind three kills from Savage, two from Sanzuo, one from Loftus, and three of them from Rivera. Take the time out with them. Bring it back here for set number two from Maze Gymnasium on the North Greenville Sports Network. Welcome back to Hayes Gymnasium. Limestone up a set over North Greenville. And so the Crusaders with some work to do. Up 24-21 at, sitting at set point. But ultimately Limestone going on a 5-0 run to take it 26-24. 
And at the end of one, North Greenville 11 kills, 27 attacks, five errors. Limestone nine kills on 26. And the Saints committing seven errors to that first set. But now North Greenville's going to have to put that one behind them. Haven't in that four-game losing streak that they're on. Haven't haven't won but one set. Need to just put this behind them and keep going. As we are underway here for set two, and a big time block at the net falls. Brent Hamshow skying up to get Malone stuffed. And North Greenville starts off the first set with a point. The second set with a point. Here's Bulldog. He'll go over to Rivera. Riley sets back up for him, and King just not able to get a hand underneath it. Tried his hardest. Just couldn't quite get there. Limestone with some Zool back to serve. Sends it in. This one's going to bounce off the roof right to Bulldog to set it for Campbell. Dug by Rom, and the Saints can't play it off the roof. And that's just experience in this gym with the low ceiling. North Greenville more than ready to just act like the roof is a seventh teammate. The last win for North Greenville coming all the way back on March 20th on the road at Emmanuel. As here is Brand on the serve. Riley sets up down the middle. Savage blocked by Hamshow. And Gilbert in on it as well. And it's 3-1 North Greenville. Brant on the serve over to Savage. Riley pops it up over near post to Rivera. And he catches the antenna on the way by, and the point will go to NGU. And short serve doesn't get over the net from Brant. They'll hand it over to Limestone. Serve in from Rivera. Gilbert off his right hand. Diving stop by Brandt. Gilbert swats it over. Rivera had to handle that shot. And a block at the net. Hamshow jumping halfway across the net to get in front of Senzul. The officials having to come together and make sure they got the right side of the net on that call. And it's 4-3, so... Well, that one went out of bounds, but North Greenville's going to get it right back here off the service there from Rivera. And a ham show on the serve over to Rome. Set by Riley and missing the end line. Limestone with Malone did not catch it. He can't believe it. Well, he missed it by a good foot and a half, so. Well, from where he's standing, has to look through four or five bodies, so he just assumed it was there. Hamshow trying to go for the lob serve, and Limestone almost didn't get to it. As on the sideline, Savage gets it in. Limestone continuing to hang around two, three points down. And picking up the pace as well. Now first set started slow and kind of grinded our way through that one as McManaway, the short set from Bulldog. And McManaway is not going to miss, miss about those chest high sets. Nah, that one just locked, just hung up there in the air. And he threw it down like a tomahawk dunk. He just went right for it. Campbell back to serve. High, but it gets in. Riley going to set up for Loftus, recovered by Brandt. McManaway over to Gilbert, across the court and in. Gilbert painted into a corner, had to avoid the pole. Somehow finds the open spot. Largest lead of the game for North Greenville, four over here over Limestone at 8-4. And Campbell, another high serve. That one won't stay in. 
And the tenth service error against NGU will get Limestone in three. Serve from Riley. Bulldog will set up for Gilbert. High past the blockers. Went off the tip, though. One official says yes, and yes, they will re reward the point to North Greenville off the touch. And on the serve from Jackson Gilbert has the signal to proceed and fires it out of bounds. 9-6, North Greenville up three. Serve now in the hands of Anthony Savage. Sends it in over to King. Bulldog gonna set up for McManaway. Pass the blockers and gets the touch off Savage. Savage just reactionary. That one was more than likely sailing out of bounds, but came so close to him, he had to flinch and go after it. And McMahon away to serve. Out of bounds. Point to Limestone. And Jenkins in, McMahon away off. Serve in from Loftus, doesn't make it over the net. So a trade off as North Greenville gets the point and the serve back and maintains a four, four point gap over the Saints, 11-7. Serve in from Bulldog over Savage. Riley gonna set up for him from the 10 foot line and gets it to go off the block of Hampshire. Serve in from Senzuel over to Gilbert. Bulldog plays plays it well off the rafters. Gilbert somehow swatted it over the net. Limestone back on the attack. High shot through the blockers and out of bounds off the hand of Senzuel. Point right back to NGU. And if Gilbert doesn't step in the way of that to begin that point, North Greenville doesn't get that chance. So great fight by eight. Transferred out of Coker College as Jackson Gilbert out of Columbus, Ohio, making plays for North Greenville. As Limestone takes the next point, Rivera off the block of Campbell and inbounds. Serve in from Rivera to Jenkins. Bulldog gonna set up for Campbell, has the run of the court floor and gets it. Spun off one block and just proceeded to hit three different limestone players across the net. No one could do anything. And he caught the setter, Logan Riley, all on an island. And the far side corner, Riley hit it once and backed up. And nobody there to support him. Here's Hamshow. Side spin over in front of the scores table. Recovered by the Saints. They hit it through the rafters and get it over. Bulldog going to set it near post. They want Campbell. Reached out for by Senzuel, and the Saints not able to rally it back. You gotta give all the credit in the world to Hamshow for getting that one over this, what is he, six, seven, six, eight, just ducked down to go after that one near the ground? Yeah, Hamshow listed at six, seven, finally getting some height up to support McManaway, and Coach Battenfield working the recruiting trail is gonna need some height to complement Hamshow next season. And the thing that kind of gets lost in the shuffle through season to season was Hampshire wasn't really supposed to be a starter this season, was supposed to come off the bench, but a couple players left and it opened the avenue for him to show through with that kills made. Yeah, good job there by Campbell. Working the near post and catching Loftus out of position, bounced it off his left hand, five point lead for North Rainville. And this is a North Greenville team that, since their creation four years ago, they have made the conference tournament every season. And wrapping this one up, it looks like they are in solid position to do the same again and keep that streak going.
Limestone closing within four as Bulldogs setting up for McManaway again. He tries the no look backwards pass and it does. The, Got it that time. It paid off. There's uh, Arlen Rojba. Now Rojba in Gilbert Ulf. And Rojba handles a serve over to Rum. Riley going to set up. They go near post for Senzul. Campbell's got that one. Here's Bulldog looking to Gilbert. Off the block. McManaway almost had the jow. Saves it off the net. And Campbell gets it over. Limestone back near post to Senzul. Campbell with the save to the joust. And unrecoverable by North Greenville as Loftus standing right there ready for it. Nice defensive plays by both sides. It's one of those points you kind of hate. One team's going to have to lose it, but Limestone with the fight, keeping North Greenville in the back heel the entire point. Problem is for Limestone, they're going to need another 5-0 run they had back in the first set as they're trailing by four right now. They've been down by as many as five. Savage on the serve. Over to King. Bulldogs set up for Brandt, blocked at the net, and it is Loftus again. Only two assisted blocks for Limestone, combining for one total block. Uh, Limestone with Loftus going to add number two right there. McManaway off the block of Rivera and down the sideline to get that point. That's one way to stop a run. 17-13 here in the second set. North Greenville leads it by four. Manaway on the serve, gets it over. Rivera has the shot and fires. One freshman firepower coming out of the Limestone team. As number nine, Armin Amaro, back in. Serve goes to Brandt. Bulldog runs to set it up for him. Hammers it past the blockers. No touch. Point limestone. Now all of a sudden that lead just starting to dwindle again. Limestone back-to-back -back points trying to make it three in a row. Armero over to Hamshow. And Bulldog Got set it. up for him. And Hamshow right into the far side corner pocket. Didn't get all he wanted out of that one, but honestly, might be for the best. Had just enough to find the corner. He had Limestone cheating up to the 10-foot line. Thought he was going to hit that one straight down. Here is Bulldog on the serve. Oda Rivera, Riley going to set up for Malone. King on backup. Bulldog going to try Campbell. Blocked again. And Bulldog swats it over on the third hit. Riley over to Rivera. Great dig by Bulldog. Here's Campbell going to the corner. Can't get it. Savage to Riley. Back to Rivera a third time. Rosebow with the save. Back to Rivera fourth time. Almost overran it. Now Bulldog to Campbell. Off the block. The whistle will give the point to NGU. Gonna get it on the air, but North Greenville keeping Limestone honest with that one. And now pulling back to a four-point lead. That one go down as a blocking error, and Coach Benson wants a word on it. And a timeout. Nineteen fifteen, North Greenville leads by four, roughly the same spot they were in back in set one. Trying to close out the second set, even it up at a set apiece. That is a blocking error called against Geraldo Rivera. Is what finally put to put an end to so far, our best rally of the night. But still, 
plenty of more match left. Another volleyball around the conference tonight. King took care of Mount Olive in three sets. And Barton handles Lee Mc Lee's McCray. That, that one going three sets as well. Emmanuel was set to play Coker today. That match ended up being canceled entirely. And Belmont Abbey and Erskine in action tonight as well. And Belmont Abbey last checks was up a set over the Flying Fleet. Rounding up the conference slate, Limestone, North Greenville, here on senior night. Bulldog back to serve with NGU up four. Fires it in, Rome gets underneath it. Riley gonna pop set over to Senzuo. Another good dig from Rojba. Here comes Brandt off the hands of Rum. And North Greenville goes up by five. Brandt did that sitting on the floor, fell back, had just enough on it. Bulldog starting to make a home of serving, and the door will close on that run on the service there. Back to Limestone, it goes with Francisco Senzuel. Fires a serve in, and the Saints with a service error. And North Greenville can't get too caught up in this. Fell victim to that in the first set, had a decent lead when they were sitting into the 20s. Can't let that happen again. Brant, the man to serve, and way short. That's back to back to back service errors. Limestone get it over. Rivera does right to King. Bulldog going to set up for Campbell. Doug Bison duel. King has to track that one down the set over to Gilbert. Blocked by Malone. It's looking a lot like the end of the first set. Limestone firing late. Twenty-one eighteen and a high, wide, and way out of bounds serve from Rivera. Twenty-two eighteen, North Greenville at four, and Hampshire gonna give it right back to Limestone. The service errors boiling up. And the last few points of the set. Malone trying to go for that high arcing lob serve and McMahon away. No look. That yeah, was a no look. Wasn't too sure and he put the hammer on it. He fired that one with force. Twenty-three nineteen after the kill from McManaway. Here's Campbell on a serve over to Rum. Riley looking to set up near post for Savage and gets the touch off King. And this is where Limestone started their rally last set. North Greenville was at set point though, so still got one more of those to go. Serve in from Saints. Running set from Bulldog to Gilbert, and he puts it high and out, but there is a touch called. North Greenville at set point, 24-20. Timeout Time Limestone. That will be their second timeout of this set, so they will be out of timeouts but for this, the remainder. But this is exactly what they did in the first set. North Greenville got all the way to set point. And they saved that one just to stop momentum right there at the very end and try and reel it back. Was successful in the first set. See what they can do in the second. And North Greenville again at set point. Limestone. One on a 5-0 run to close it out. In the first set, they're going to have to go on a 6-0 run this time. Quick timeout for the Saints. They're already back on the floor, ready to go. 
And I'm just saying, I feel like that was one of those momentum stopping timeouts. Not so much a play shifting thing. You can't take the timeouts with you. Why not take it? Set point, 24-20, EG with Jackson Gilbert to serve. Sends it in. Rivera pops it up, running set by Riley. And it's hit off the block and down by Sanzuo. Limestone survives again. Limestone hasn't been too successful, had more than their fair share of service aces. Service errors, my bad. 24-21. Going to have to have at least three perfect here. Savage on the serve. King gets to it. Goes back to the net on the joust. Another Saints point from Rivera. And here comes Grayson Lawrence. The first time we've seen him tonight. Lawrence on, Brant off. Bring some height and some defense to North Greenville. That's what they need right about now. Savage back to serve again at 24-22. Trims the net. King gets it. Bulldog going to set up for McManaway to put it away. Blocked and manages to not get out of the way of it, apparently. Limestone takes the point. Got to get the conversation here. And that one was blocked out of bounds by Limestone. That should be NGU's point. McManaway but, did not contact. But the problem being, Limestone can still run to the other side and try and flip it back if it's off the way it was just then. And they're arguing McManaway didn't get out of the way. If there's a man on this planet that knows volleyball, it's Fred Battenfield. He's been around the sport for a good 20-plus 20, 20 years. Maybe even 30-plus years. But also, are going to have to bring all the officials out here, but what well, you saw Jake Bulldog right there arguing at, at the bottom of the screen was that Limestone... If you're going to run around to try and flip it back from the other side, you can't run under the net to do that. You have to run from the outside and flip back. And Bulldog was sitting there like he ran right at me. He ran under the net. How was this allowed? And that was uh, number 11, Rivera. Is apparently what's under question right now. And it looks like North Greenville is going to end up with this. And the decision is, well, now here comes Go Limestone ahead. over. Get the conversation here, the other side of the argument. But North Greenville celebrating initially. Call there reversed.
having to run to the other side of the net to rally it back, but can't run underneath the net, only around. Livestone starting us off with a service error. That's their ninth. North Greenville sitting at 16. Crusaders also a 358 attack percentage through two sets. Limestone with a 163. Limestone trying to get on the board. They'll do so. New man on the floor for the Saints. This is number five, Spencer St. Aloy. Freshman out of Miami, Florida. Well, isn't that name fitting? Uh oh. You, mi you missed the we're, Saint. We're going to have a talk after this you, match. You missed the Saint name? Yeah, no, no, we're, no, we're, we're going to have a talk about this afterwards. Yeah, okay. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. No. <laughs> Saint Aloy on the surf. Brant sends it back over. And the set will go to number 14. That was Malone. Now here's Bulldog going to Gilbert, bouncing it off of Saint Aloy. And North Greenville on the board with their first point. Serve in from North Greenville. Riley sending over to the near post. One on one. Brant with the block. And then nobody went for it for Limestone. Just a huge miscommunication. All six players just huddled around it. No one did anything. North Greenville leads 3 1. Gilbert on the serve. Set by Riley over to the far post. And Man Rivera is not missing. And North Greenville does not have an answer for the freshman from Puerto Rico. They've been able to figure out Savage, who's the team leader in kills, but Rivera has been the part two to that as the ace for number six. Francisco Seidlinger Senzuo off the touch of Kyle Brandt, who could not get out of the way. Senzuel on the serve, and Gilbert sends it into the bleachers. Back-to-back -back aces for Limestone. They had two through the first two sets, and now have two here in the third. Senzuel again. Can he make it a three-peat? Jenkins pops it up. Won't do it, as here's McManaway. Reje ricochets off a of Savage. And Matt McManaway just not letting Limestone continue that momentum, just stuffing that one right into the teeth of the entire team. Now McManaway back to serve. And will go to a joust at the net. North Greenville will get the point as Kyle Brandt out jumping his man on the other side. Second straight serve for McManaway. Goes over to Rivera, who gets the set. That one makes its way down the sideline and in. Trying to rival what Jackson Gilbert did early in the game. Tied at five in the third set. And Rivera now has to serve. And he puts a high and out, and Aaron Campbell making some dance moves to get out of the way of that. And now Bulldog, the man to serve. Trims the net, makes it over. Here's Riley going for the center tip right to Dustin King. Now here comes Brandt. Again, Rome with the save. Riley pops it up. King with the stick again. Here comes Gilbert from the 10-foot line off the palm of his hand into the net. Point to Limestone. Jarrett Malone back to serve. Actually puts a little bit of heat on that one as here comes Campbell. He did get the touch from Senzuel. And 
North Springville leads by one. Here is Brant on the serve. We'll go to Rivera. Riley will set up far post for Savage. And that one did not catch the blockers on the way by. North Greenville with another point. Rare miss from the lone senior on the limestone squad. And here's Brant. Goes to Rivera again. Riley pops it up right back to Savage. King with the save. Bulldog. And Campbell gets it over. Great little rally there with King. Set, set goes to St. Aloy. He's blocked. They'll go to Savage. And King got his left hand underneath it, but spun it off. Like the limestone. Serve in from Riley. And now Campbell, the lefty, off the blockers. Good job by Campbell. And Campbell on that right side, since he strikes with the left hand, has a lot more space to wind up and not worry so much about the pole. Came in fierce. Got the kill. Hampshire on the serve over to Savage. Riley has to play it off the roof. Hit over right to Hampshire from Sanzuel. And now, oh boy, Campbell. He's fired up again. Uh, just look at all the unlikely heroes in that. Hampshire went down for a dig to start that one off. Campbell, a man on the mission, responsible for the last two points on the board in favor of NGU. They lead by three. Serve from Hampshire. Goes to Rum. Now slowly hit over by Senzuel. Bulldog got to it. Hampshire sets up from Gilbert and gets it to go down in front of the Saints Libero Rum. Eleven seven. Here in the third set, North Ring will lead by four. Hampshire goes down the middle right to Rum Riley looking to set up and the all-speed hit by Savage and North Greenwell sends it into the bleachers. Jackson Gilbert just having a little fun with the crowd, just making fun of it. Having to our first cleanup of the floor tonight. Savage on the serve. The high serve is out. The thing about those high spiral serves is you have to time it. And if you don't time it right, that's the sort of thing that happens. It's just it's just a case of the server trying to get the ace really hard. A lot of times you'll see him served right off for an error just like that. Back-to-back -back service error. Campbell can't get it inside the white lines. And that'll go back to Limestone. St. Aloy, the man back to serve. Line drive right to Brant. Bulldog popped up for Gilbert. High off the blockers. And he and gets the him. touch. Jackson Gilbert, he's normally a, a consistently pretty strong player for North Greenville, but he's he's running the luck tonight. And Look at that block. block. It's going to fall in bounds. Do you, check out who got the assist right there. Jake, Jake Bulldog. Bulldog. <laughs> About as close as you can cut it on the block. 14-9, North Greenville leads. Saints trying to get the serve back. They won't do it this time round. No touch cold off the shot from Sunzula. From Zual. And North Green goes up 15-9. And the Saints want the timeout. Got to be their first of the set. North Green with now, now their largest lead of the match behind Matthew McManaway's nine kills. Gilbert's got 10. 
And Campbell, Campbell rat, rattling up back-to-back -back kills. He's got eight of them. Right now, there is a tie atop the stat sheet with the attack percentage. Campbell sitting at 571. Eight kills, 14 attacks, no errors. McManaway only with one error. He's got nine kills on 14 attacks, three assisted blocks to go with that. Kyle Brandt so far the stone wall at the net. Two solo blocks, two assisted blocks. North Greenland's team has, they have eight. Just look, it's an all around team effort. Everyone's firing on all cylinders. No real problems aside from the service errors, but that's been a problem the entire season across the board. But just everyone playing their A game today and it's coming out real nice. North Greenville in control of this third set. Serve in from Gilbert. Riley setting up for Rivera. Stopped there by Brandt. And he gets the set up and tries to go short and gets it. Brand, who just got bailed out by his teammates, caught that on the block with spinning in the air, ends up with the kill. Limestone right now, they're following the they're following the player. They left the middle of the floor wide open for Gilbert again. Savage not trying to let the deficit grow any larger. Gets the touch off the back line. I think that was. Gilbert, who was hanging out back there, it's 16-10. And it is Senzual. Back to serve. King reached up for it. Bulldog to Brant. Blocked, but on the Saints side of the net. They put three up of the net and still couldn't block him. I was lucky it fell on the Saints side of the net for North Greenville. Had just as you said, three and a the entire space to the 10 foot line was open. She had to bring it back down to the floor, but just a little too quick, and it's down on their side. But Manaway serves looking a lot better, and on the joust, it will go to Riley, the setter. <laughs> 17 11. in from Rivera to Gilbert. Bulldog looking to Brant off the blockers and out of bounds. Point in GU. Now North Greenville this entire match hasn't done well out of a Saints timeout. Real well coming out the most recent one. And just Kyle Brandt starting to show out. Serve from Bulldog, tries it right from the end line. Riley's gonna set up for Malone who's dug by Gilbert. And Jenkins, the man who hits it over. Another block against Malone. Here's Riley a third time. He'll go over to Savage. Tries to go off speed, doesn't get it. And waiting on the signal, Limestone takes the point. Looks like that's going to be a blocking error. Score 18-12. North Greenville leads by six. Shot by Campbell will fall. And that makes it 19-12. Serve in from Arlen Rojba, out of bounds. Serve in from Riley. Bulldog going to call, be called upon the setup for Campbell. Riley with the dig. And traffic in backcourt for Limestone. They can't rally it back. North Greenville goes up by seven. Now a lot more breathing room to work with than they have in the first two sets. Hamshow on the surf, makes it over the net. Riley set up for St. Aloy, rejected by McManaway. Here's Rivera setting up over for Senzuel. North Greenwood will stop him. Here comes Campbell, cross court to Riley. 
Rum gonna set up for Savage. Right to Campbell. Through the rafter, Bulldog. Cross court set for Gilbert. And hammers it right into the face of St. Eloy and Savage to drop it for the point. Chance here for North Greenville to get some points while Rivera is on the limestone bench. Hamshow on the serve. Riley setting up over to Sensual. And it is going to be ruled down. Limestone will take the point. Limestone bringing in number four, Matt Entrella. Here's Savage on the Saints serve and out of bounds. Twenty-two fourteen, North Greenville with almost a double-digit lead as St. Eloy blocked by McManaway. Another rally though as here comes Antrella stopped by King. Rojba over the net. And now Limestone trying to rally as they had another collision. And Bulldog going for that center tip and he got it. And that's something Bulldog's been trying to do for a long time. <laughs> been chewed out by, by coaches a lot because he's one of the shorter setters trying to make that work, but finally gets it to drop, and it couldn't be at a better time. 23-14, North Greenville in the third set. Limestone will take their second and final timeout of the third set. North Greenville two away from a set win, and set three, try to wrap it up in four after that. So the senior celebration, senior day celebrations will be taking place after tonight's match. Coach Battenfield electing to hold off on that. Normally we would see those take place before. But I want to get the match in and then we shall recognize the four seniors we have for North Greenville. North Greenville with one more home game left on the season, one more game left in the regular season in four days on April 11th against Belmont Abbey. And then they will find out where they will be seated for the conference tournament. Serve in with North Greenville up 23-14, blocked at the net by McManaway. The Saints able to rally, and then McManaway slams it right back. And that's got to be demoralizing for Limestone. Was able to save it once, get it back over, but just essentially setting up for Matthew McManaway to slam it back in their face. Set point, North Greenville. The setter Riley was trying to push it over, but he didn't see the big man waiting for him. North Greenville up 10 at set point. Lawrence on the serve. Now Limestone trying to hang on to stay alive. Trims the net, Bulldog kept it alive. Or so we thought, but the point will go to Limestone. The Bulldog just ran into the net on the way by. Ball taking an awkward spin off the block, and now he's going to come have a conversation about it. This one, uh, this conversation a lot shorter than the last one he had to have with the officials at the end of set two. Yes, Saint Eloy was also the set point. <laughs> yes, it was. Saint Eloy off, and number nine Drew Romero on. Trying to keep Limestone alive, he pushes it out of bounds, and North Greenville will take the third set off the limestone service there. Dominant statement made here in third, the third set. North Greenville takes it 25-15. And so we will head to the fourth set. North could be the final one. North Greenville has a set advantage. Two to one over limestone here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
fifth and what could be potentially the final set, at least North Greenville hopes so. North Greenville take, will take a set advantage up 2-1 after winning the third set 25-15 over Limestone. Three Crusaders in double figures in kills. Gilbert's got 11, Campbell with 10, McManoy also with 10. Anthony Savage, the lone saint with 11 kills. But Geraldo Rivera knocking on the door, he's got nine. A bit of a block party also going on out there. Eight blocks for North Greenville, four for Limestone as we are underway in the fourth set. Limestone robbed of the fourth first point by Bulldog, hit over by Gilbert. Now the Saints try and get it again, they will. Off Jarrett Malone finding the open gap in the middle. Limestone starts, starts it off with a point. A bit of an awkward hit, but falls for the point nonetheless. Silas Jenkins back on the floor to start this fourth set. In fact, two of North Greenville seniors are on the floor now. Bulldog setting up for Gilbert. McManaway there to back him up. Ricochet shot from Gilbert. Gets its way over. Limestone rallies it over. No, they won't. Subzul so hit it straight up instead of at an angle, and it came right back down to him the same way. Serve in from Campbell over to Rum. Riley going to set things up near post for Rivera. And North Greenville still does not have an answer for him. Yeah, Coach Battenfield tried to get in on that play. Yeah, good, good, good move by Coach. And a service there from Limestone. Give it back to NGU. And yeah, the service here is we hadn't seen in a nice little bit, but rearing their ugly head again. Serve in will make its way to Rum and the Saints. Savage blocked by Bulldog. They keep it alive though. Here comes Rivera down the middle. No touch called. He hit it out. Point NGU. Yeah, and it's just nice to see Jake Bulldog, the 6 0 sophomore, six foot even, skying up for them blocks. Gilbert on the serve. Riley will set up for Savage. Makes its way past. The block of McManaway and Bulldog will drop the Saints. Keeping things interesting here at the start of set four. Serve in from Malone. And got lob serve has returned for him. Bulldog going to set up for Brant. And he Found drops it. it on the line. He was aiming for the corner. Missed it by about, well, maybe a foot. But still got it in play. Kyle Brandt continuing to put his name on this game. That's kill number seven for him on 14 attacks. Does have three errors as McManaway serves. Over to Rum, off the rafter. Riley keeps it alive. And the putback by Brandt to give him eight. Just what awareness, realizing that one came off the rafter and then just the desperation, desperation tap over. Was right in position to find the open floor again. And it's plays like this. Kyle Brand is a junior, gonna have to, have to step up next year with the departure of the four seniors. But showing he's more than worthy of it. Speaking of the seniors, McManaway, the only senior on the floor right now. Fires it in. Riley will set up over for Savage off the block. McManaway plays it, collides with Gilbert. Bulldog looking to set up for Hamshow, and he whiffed. Point will go to Limestone. They close the gap back to one. Serve in from Riley, goes to Brandt. Bulldog going to set up for Hamshow, and Hamshow is blocked. Serve in from Riley again off the light fixture. Brant has to adjust to play that one back in. Here comes Riley setting up for Loftus, who drops it in again. North Greenville not riding the momentum so much anymore. Limestone seems to have regained it. 
Got to step up and try something. Off to start to give some eyeballs over to the North Greenville crowd as Bulldog trying to aim that Down center the tip. And he pushed it all the way to the line and got it in. And trying all season to make a center step work. Gets two in one match. Well, he's two for two. And back to serve from the near side corner. Fires it into Rivera. Riley running set. Back for Senzuel. Diving stop by King. Here comes Brandt. Blocked. And the blocking error called against Limestone gives point to NGU. As soon as you think Limestone's got all the momentum, North Greenville just taking a step back, figuring things out. Bulldog on the serve. That one just did make it over. Hampshire on the ricochet. Rivera gets underneath it. And Rum trying to bump it over. Campbell, Bulldog, Gilbert. And North Greenville going to be called for the four hits. Seven apiece. Well, there's certainly no love lost between these two schools. Doesn't matter what sport they're playing in. To, to say they're rivals would be putting it lightly. As Bulldog trying to set up Ham Show. Ham Show did get it down. Yes, he did. And the Libero Rum not able to sneak a hand underneath it. And there Ham Show goes again. Been successful with the high velocity shots. Kind of a quiet night for him, only five kills on nine attacks. Does have an assist, a dig, and three assisted blocks. I, I, I retract the statement, that's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty normal stat line for him. Yeah, it's fine. But these low velocity shots that he's been trying today have been working very good. Brent on the serve, doesn't make it over. Service there, number 19. the new fan favorite here at Hayes. James Loftus back to serve, drawing the ire of the North Greenville crowd. Loftus serves to Gilbert. Bulldog going to set things up for Campbell. Blocked. Popped back up. Brant to Gilbert and Riley with the save and almost lost and they will lose it. Malone spinning around, sends it out of bounds. North Greenville point. Serve coming from Ham Show and out of bounds. And just these service errors continuing to be an issue for North Greenville. And it looks like they're on track to give and give a set's worth away. Yep, again. Here is Senzuel trims the net to Gilbert. Bulldog. Set back up for Gilbert. Blocked is Malone. Wow. And with Loftus on the bench, somebody else is going to have to do that. Yeah, Malone and Riley more than apt to do it. Uh, Senzuel, the man back to serve for Limestone, sends it in and King reached up for it. And dead ball off the wall. And Limestone has taken the lead. Change here for NGU. Brandt off. Grayson Lawrence on. Serve coming from Senzuel. Fires. Gilbert got to it. And Bulldog will run out of real estate. Timeout North Greenville. Well, I'm starting start to feel it here in the fourth set. They're up three. 12-9. But ironically, this is normal. This is the reverse of what we normally see to North Greenville's effect. Normally, I hate to say it, but down 
Normally down 2-1 heading into set four, and that's when some experimental lineups normally spark a run. Win set four and four set five, but now looking like Limestone's going to do that, trying to do that to North Greenville. And GU certainly made a habit out of uh, going to five sets here at home. They've also done it a few times on the road. The last five set match they had here at home, they lost to uh, the University of Charleston, West Virginia. That was back on March 12th. Had a five set win against Erskine on February the 28th. Keep looking further back at the schedule. A five set win over Alderson brought us on January the 26th. And before that, a five set win over Queens to start off the home schedule. Gonna need a run here, starting to transition to the middle part of the set as Senzuel on the serve. That's a good way to do it. Force the service error and only be down two with the serve. Serve in from Campbell. Over to Rum. Set by Riley. He'll go over to Rivera. And he missed it. Missed the line. This does put North Greenville down a timeout, however. About the midway part of the fourth set. And here comes Campbell back to serve again. Riley on the set to number 14, Malone, blocked. Another chance here for Rivera off of Bulldog. Jumping up with the block on McManoway. That is turned out to be a pretty strong pairing. And that's one of the odder things you'd see, 6'7", McManoway with six foot even Bulldog, but it's working out. Here's Gilbert, fires and gets it in. I'd like to know the radar speed on that one. That one was fast. Okay. Jake Bulldog giving Gilbert the post set. And it's 13-12. Limestone only up by one. The Saints going off speed with Malone. Bulldog going for that setter tip. Popped up by Malone. Riley over to Savage. Off the block and it catches an out of position. Dustin King. Oh boy, here's Loftus back in. The libero rum will take a seat. Serve in from Malone. Gilbert down to two knees to get that one. Here comes Lawrence and pushes it high and out. Now North Greenville's gonna have to try and settle down again. Every time they get close to taking the lead back here in the set, start sailing off for errors. Malone over to McManoway on the serve. Bulldog gonna set back up to him and McManoway punches it off the block. And that's how they got to do it. Got to simplify things, do what you do best. Try and work back through. And now number four, Jarvis Benito. Will come in for Ham Show. And this kid can block. Worked his way into the top five in blocking in the Conference Carolinas as Limestone will retake the serve here off the point. Serve in from Riley, spins off the hands of Lawrence for the ace. Lawrence knew it immediately, just didn't have his hands in the right position, but knew he couldn't go after it, so just had to sit there and wait. Riley's still back there to serve. Master of the serve for Limestone tonight has been Senzul picking up four aces, but he's negated that by picking up four errors. There's Bulldog. Flip. Bulldog catching it right down in front of the libero rum. I think it was still down three though. And 
as Bulldog from the line sends it out. Last time out. Used by North Greenville, down by four. And if things don't get turned around quick, we're looking at another five setter. 18-14, Limestone leads here late in set four. Saints trying to make their way up the conference standings. Currently a game behind North Greenville, so if they could take, take this match, that would prove to be quite the late season win. As these two teams have met, this is the second meeting. North Greenville did lose the first one in four sets. So Limestone is trying to pick up the sweep and on the tiebreaker outright. And as it stands right now, should Limestone win the match, this would be the tiebreaker for fifth place. And right now it looks like that means a trip. That Right now that's a difference between a trip to Mount Olive or a trip to Belmont Abbey. Bulldog set over to Campbell, swats it back in and gets it to drop. That was not in a great position either, just swats it with his left hand. Both catches it off a tip and finds some open spot right on the logo. Grayson Lawrence, the man, back to serve. And fires it in over to Rum. Riley going to set things up down the middle for Savage. Good dig there by Jenkins, but it's going to go back over and out of bounds. Jenkins got solid contact, but you know, too much mustard on that one. And both teams going to make some changes. Armero will be back on for Limestone, and Benito is off for North Greenville. Gilbert coming in for him. On the serve, over to Gilbert. Bulldog gonna set things up for Campbell and spun that off the side of his hand. Limestone up five, Romero, high serve, going over to Gilbert. Bulldog set up for Hamshow and he's blocked. Garrett Malone. North Green was out of timeouts for the fourth set, so Coach Battenfield will have to let this happen. See if North Greenville has a 6-0 run in him as Campbell gets the touch. There's the start. And that's going to bring Matthew McMahon away back to the floor. And it'll send Silas Jenkins to the bench as Hamshow goes back to serve. The height package in here, McManaway, Gilbert, and Campbell up close. Go for the block here down the middle against Savage, drops it in in front of Lawrence. Split the difference between Campbell and Hamshow. Some Zool back to serve, four aces, but four airs. Sends it over to Gilbert off the roof. Bulldog tips it back to McManaway. And he stays over the net. And they will, yes, that is the call. Limestone closes to within two of the fourth set win. <laughs> Serving from Sensual over to Gilbert. Bulldog going to set things up for McMahon away. Touch twice. Now Limestone will get it over. Rivera. Here's Bulldog. They fake McMahon away. Go Campbell and blocked by again Malone and also Rivera. 
And Limestone just continuing to st show some dominance here in the fourth set. Becoming a real problem and now going to wind up with seven set points. 24-16. Limestone wins it. We're going to five. Here comes Sanzual, short into the net. Now North Granville li lives to see another day. And Rochba in for North Greenville, Campbell off. Rochba on the serve, arcing down to Savage. Riley going to set up near post for Rivera. And their go-to, North Greenville, unable to answer. Limestone will take the fourth set, 25-17. So, is it really any surprise that we're going to be needing five to decide a winner between these two teams? And looks like we had a coin toss take place over in front of the scores table, and Limestone did win the toss. So, Electing to decide which end of the court floor they want to be. I guess decide, well, decided something, we know that. Tied up at two sets apiece. And Limestone does win the coin toss. You have to switch ends of the floor, so that wasn't it. Uh, this is going to be the first to 15. We'll change ends after first team to hit eight. Go ahead and reload for one more. Tied up at two sets apiece in the North Rainbow Sports Network. set to go between North Greenville and Limestone. This one will be to 15. North Greenville on the left end of the floor. Limestone on the right end of the floor. Two sets apiece. One more needed to get a winner. As it stands right now, probably better in the favor in Limestone's hand as they Responded in a four set. North Greenville won 25-15 in the third. Then they responded by winning 25-17. Trying to start off the first, the fifth set. And Limestone gets the point. And just continuing that momentum that they gathered in the fourth set. North Greenville going to have to do something pretty drastic to stop this. Savage with 16 kills on 31 attacks. He's back to serve. 
Now Bulldog trying to set it for McMahon away, responds. Like that. Something like that. McManaway's been the showstopper the entire not the entire night for North Greenville. Anytime the Limestone's been on a pretty crazy run, he's been the one to slow the momentum, calm him back down. 1-1 one, one is Campbell on the serve. Over to Savage. Riley going to set things up for Rivera. Still no answer. Rivera just continuing to be kryptonite for North Greenville. Just as you said, no answer. And in a set only to 15, that's kind of a problem. And Loftus, the man back to serve. Fires it over to Brandt. Bulldog going to set up for McManaway again. Stopped by Savage. Riley over to Senzula. And down in front of Dustin King for the limestone point. The Saints up 3-1. Loftus on the short serve into the net. Service there. Now Jackson Gilbert on the serve. That one goes to Savage. Riley going to set up for Rivera. And he, again, he gets it in. And North Greenville confused at that one. At least Dustin King is. Real close call, but their side judge calls it in. And now Sanzuo. Sanzuo back to serve. Sends it in and off of two NGU players. And Bulldog able to get it over. Not out of the woods yet though. Savage blocks McManaway with the elbow flex. Back to Bulldog to get it over. Riley over to Rivera. Tug by Campbell. First time tonight. McManaway hits it over to Blockers. Doesn't get it down. Limestone plays it off the net. Room hits it over and out of bounds. And what a fight. That play looked dead from the start. Bouncing off the rafters right above the basketball goal. Good fight by the six on the floor for the Crusaders. Now McManaway will be back to serve. Sends it in. There's Riley trying to go to the number 14 Malone and North Greenville gets the point. Yeah, lift or carry. Called against Limestone. Tied up at four. Let's go, one third. Let's go, Riley. McMahon away, waiting patiently to serve. Sends it in and out. And that's just continuing to be the theme. Anytime North Greenville gets close to limestone here in these last two sets, commit an error themselves. That was number 22 from the service line. Here comes Brand off the far post, and he gets it down. Man of the match, no doubt, for North Greenville right now, Kyle Brandt. That'll put him in the double digits. He's got, he's 10 for 18 tonight. Here's Bulldog, short into the net. North Greenville gets a point, they can't help but hurt themselves. And Limestone back up, and now a short serve from Malone, and that lob serve finally backfires on him. 6-6. Six, six. Kyle Brandt on the serve. Rivera to the net. Gilbert with the put back, and he gets it. Valiant effort right there. By Sinzrell. Didn't get there in time, and North Greenville a point away from sending us to swapping sides. And Brandt still the man of the hour, back to serve. Goes over to Rum. Riley going to set up for Savage. King gets to it, but Limestone will tie it up at seven. 
Now, no matter what, next point will switch. Ah, and the shoe timeout has returned. That's why you always do a double knot. Serve from Riley. Bulldog on the set. The hand show, and he gets it in. And that's the momentum North Greenville needed here in a tight match. A statement point to send us to swap sides. So advantage in GU, but only by one. Now we're back where we started in GU on the right, Limestone on the left. Show back to serve. Sends it over to Vera. Riley sets up for Sanzual. Blocked, but out of bounds. North Greenville arguing it hit one of them on the arm on the way by. I don't think Coach Battenfield's going to go two for two on change calls tonight. Still worth the effort. It's not going to get it. Dustin King back in, ham show off as Savage serves. Diving save by Brant. Bulldog to Gilbert, off the block, out of bounds. We'll get it that time. And no need, to, no need to argue about that one. And now Arlen Rosebow will come in. He'll go back to serve in place of Aaron Campbell. Rose but serves in to Rum. Riley going to set up far post for Rivera. Off the blockers, right to King. Bulldog set up for McManaway. Blocked, but out of bounds. And Rose for getting excited. Timeout. Limestone. Might be one of the rowdiest games we've had in here. Man. Don't need anything more fitting for senior night. Yeah, still one more men's volleyball match here at home to go next Wednesday against Belmont Abbey. That will round out the regular season slate for North Greenville, and then they will know their seeding fate within the conference tournament. Win here is imperative tonight to stay ahead of Limestone and keep pace with Belmont Abbey, who will they'll see here next Wednesday. Belmont Abbey did win the first matchup between North Greenville, so they're going to try and split that series and see what they can do as we're 10 days away from the conference tournament. The top three are pretty, pretty decided. It's just what order are they going to be in? King, Barton, and Mount Olive. Now North Green with a two-point lead here, 10-8. Still got this one to figure out. As Rojba, man to serve. And Rivera, Riley sets up down the middle for Savage. Rojba with the save to King. Bulldogs just got to get it over. Played by Sanzul all to Loftus. That one's going to be ruled down. And point to Limestone. Limestone timeouts continuing to be a problem for North Greenville. Any momentum they have going into one doesn't seem to be too successful on the other end. Marrow on to serve. Over to Rojba. Bulldog going to set up for McManaway and drops it down right back in front of number nine. Two point lead again. Still 11 9. North Greenville leads it. Now Gilbert's got the serve. With a lob serve over to Savage. Here comes Rivera. He hit it out and no, no touch call. 12 9. Timeout limestone. Last That's one. Saints will be out of timeout, so expect things to be decided from here on out. North Green will still with their full complement of two, but 
That was the last chance Limestone had to get a to get a lengthy stoppage of play. Here, three down with North Greenville only three away from taking the set. It's going to be crucial to see what Limestone can do on the other end of this. crowd tonight has been very impressive. Yeah, these guys love their seniors and want to give them a good show on the way out. North Greenville needs three more points. Limestone needs six. Jackson Gilbert on the surf. Over to Savage. Riley going to set up near post. Partially blocked. Popped up. Here comes Bulldog to make man away. Hit it out, and no touch. Coach Battenfield, he wants, he wants that touch called, won't get it. Limestone with some Zool on the serve. Line drive right to Rosebuck, keeps clear of the rafters. Bulldog to Brandt, trying to go off speed. Diving save by Rum. Here comes Rivera to King. Bulldog set up for Brandt. Off the block and out. 13-10, North Greenville leads, two away. Rivera extremely frustrated after that play. Sends that volleyball flying off. McManaway now the man back to serve. North Greenville leading by three. Manaway fires. Comes Riley on the set. They'll go to Rivera. Rosebud dies for it. Gets it. Brant set up for Bulldog. Punches it over the blockers. Limestone back on the move. Down the middle with Savage. Off the hands of McManaway. Gilbert reaches up for it. And Rosebud lets it fly, but it kicks. It catches a rafter on the way by and won't get over the net. That one had the distance to make it, though. Yeah, just that low ceiling coming into effect again, but just give all. Give some props to Jackson Gilbert sacrificing the body on that one. Came up holding his jaw. Serving by Rivera to Rojba. Bulldog set up for Brant. Off the block, recovered by Savage. Riley sets up for some two all smoked it out. Match point, North Greenville at 14-11. Point. Jake Bulldog will be back to serve. Bulldog on the serve. To the net it goes. Here comes Savage off the blockers. King. Bulldog sets up for Campbell to put it away. Can't do it. Here's the just Ham Show does it. And after all that, Ham Show. Been a force the entire game. Finally gets the dunk one at the end. Yeah, Limestone kind of took that away from them this match. And Ham Show puts it on ice. North Greenville takes it in 5, 15-11 after it's all said and done. This win will improve North Greenville to 12 and 15 overall. 6 and 9 within the Conference Carolinas. Limestone falls to 8, 19, 5, and 11. Now two games back of fifth place. Still one more match to decide it next Wednesday to round up the regular season for North Greenville men's volleyball. But for tonight, the Crusaders finished 62 kills on 115 attacks, only 20 errors committed, a 365 attack percentage. 40 digs, 8 blocks, 23 service errors to 1 ace, 55 assists, and 48 of those coming from Jake Bulldog for Limestone, they go 45 on 118, 23 errors. Uh, that's good enough for a 186 attack percentage, 29 digs, 9 blocks. They had 3 at the end of the third set. They go 7 aces, 18 errors, 42 assists, 39 of those coming from Logan Riley. Four Crusaders will finish in double digits. Jackson Gilbert, 15 of 28. Kyle Brent, 11 for 21. 
Aaron Campbell goes 12 for 23. Matthew McManaway goes 14 for 23. And now here is the Thank senior so day much. ceremonies. Turn it over to head coach Fred Battenfield. It's the best crowd we've had in many, many years. I thank you so much. If you give us just a few minutes, uh, we're going to have our senior day honorees in just a few moments. I've got six great seniors that we're going to do here in just a second. So give them a second to clean up and we'll, uh, we'll have our seniors. If I could ask the parents to come over here to this side of the court and we'll uh, take care of that in just a minute. Uh, well, while they get things set up for the senior night celebration, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. The stats for Limestone, Anthony Savage, he goes 17 for 36. Geraldo Rivera, the unstoppable force, finishes with 14 for 29. We'll also go ahead and name your Moser Grant player of the game and sure said his name a lot in uh, uh, the, one of the rare times where it's actually pretty obvious. You look at all this, Greg, you know, I'm going to give you the honor today because I'm normally the one that does this. Well, normally because I, I normally know. because I don't have a problem with you doing it. I know, I know. I'm just giving you the honor today. Have a little fun. Come on. But let's give it to Kyle Brandt. Kids just showed out was incredible the entire match. And he may not have had, may not be the, the kills leader, may not have the best percentage on the entire team, but all of his kills and all of his defensive plays came at crucial points for North Greenville this entire match. He was extremely vital to this win and keeping North Greenville in the conversation for top four in the conference, trying to host the playoff game, number 11. And between Brant Campbell, Hamshow, and McManaway, they only committed 10 errors between the four of them. That's, impre that's extremely impressive. Yeah, McManaway, only two errors. Hamshow, three. Campbell, two. Brant, three. Also, McManaway finishes with an assist, three digs, and three assisted blocks. Hamshow goes three assisted blocks. Eric Campbell had eight digs. And your most career player of the game, the rest of Brant's stat line is he has an assist, two digs, two solo blocks, two assisted blocks. That's pretty good over, uh, overall performance tonight. That's, uh, that's what you call a stat stuffer. I believe we, and I believe we are off until actually next Wednesday when Belmont Abbey will come here to play for the final regular season game. And sure looks like Coach Battenfield is ready to recognize his seniors. And so we'll sign off here on the North Greenville. Well, we will hey, sign hey, off. We'll keep it live Jake for the Jenkins Senior Day celebrations here from Hayes Gymnasium. Jake Jenkins right there was one of the members of our first team in 2015. John Childs played for us in 2016. I'd like them to be part of the celebration. If any other ex-players that I can't see through my fogged up glasses, please come on down to the court. It's a big part of this. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. This has been a day I've been dreading for a long, long time since we started the program in October of 2013. Uh, we, we put the team together, had 12 guys on that first team. Uh, several of them, here, Jake was here, several others we invited. They were from Florida, Ohio, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, the Philippines, Hawaii, and Canada. We opened our first season against the number one team in the country, it's Pepperdine University. They played right here on this court in January of 20, 2015. We also played them for a thousand people over and upward. So we've come a long ways in our development. Uh, tonight, three of these guys have stayed with me for four years. They put up with all the, the practices and the travel and everything, so it's been a privilege for me to coach them as we continue to make men's volleyball great in South Carolina. Our mission does continue to be taking the message of Christ to many places where the gospel is not quite there. We visited many, many different types of campuses all over the country. And we put that on our gear and we mean it very seriously when we walk into each gym that people understand what our mission is. We do have three other young men who will be completing their eligibility and graduating in the next month that we'll honor tonight. Our first senior is Dion Vidal. Dion transferred here from Bob Jones University in January. semester of eligibility. He's made a lasting impact on our team. He was referred to me by John several years ago. Once I saw him, he'd be great in our program. He's a native of the island of Dominica. He has contributed this first year playing as an outside hitter and serving specialist. His two aces against Allison brought us early this year. Moved us toward a really good year for our program. 
He's an accounting major and plans to graduate sometime next year. Well, by the way, his 12th win tonight was an all-time record for North Greenville. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he's escorted by his brother Pato and his wife, Dion Vidal. Extensively the last two years. I had to convince him that I've got one more year of eligibility. I'm still working on him. He's made an outstanding outside hitter and passer during his two years. I miss his hair. Whatever happened to the hair, a great sense of humor. He's a, uh, as a business major, plans to graduate in December of this year. He's escorted by his parents, Kyle and Ellen Brand. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Brand. class in 2015. He came to us from St. Augustine, Florida. He played three different positions here, opposite, outside hitter, and middle, middle blocker. He uh, earned three letters for us and had it played in just about every match. His career was ended by a devastating knee injury suffered at Princeton early in the 2016 season. The injury convinced Connor that he probably needed to step aside from volleyball, and he kind of did. He worked hard on his rehab and still has two years of eligibility remaining. Hey, Connor. Two years left. This past fall, he served as my assistant coach and strength training coordinator. But he decided the real world was dawning, and he decided to take a job at Bridgestone America in Montgomery, Alabama. He graduated early this past December with a degree in business administration. And he and his family have been very, very special to us. They have stayed with us, done many different things for us. Uh, Mike and Vicky, thank you all as well. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Connor Ryan. guys to visit North Greenville in the fall of 2013 was Silas Jenkins. We were, we were putting the program together and Silas came down from Richmond, Virginia, made the decision to play for our brand new program. Despite an injury that limited his mobility a little bit the first year, he bounced back. He's been an amazing asset for, as a four-year letterman at Libero. He's always had a positive attitude, a smile on his face, and every day he continues to increase the value of our program. I have simply no idea what I'm going to do next year, but I look over against that wall and Silas Jenkins and Dustin King are warming up. That's going to get me next year, folks, but he's been incredible at what he's done for us. He's a member of the USA National City Volleyball Training Team. He's an educational major who will come back next fall to his student teaching and graduate next December. He's escorted by his parents, Paul Jenkins and Pam Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, Silas Jenkins! is a true gem in the development of our program. He came to us in 2015 from Haines City, Florida and immediately won the starting spot at Libero. 
was a second team all conference Carolina selection his freshman year and also made it as a sophomore. He's anchored up passing the defense for so long and written number two on the lineup for over 100 matches. So he would always been Dustin King in the lineup, backed up by Silas. He played outside hitter at the middle blocker one time last year too, so he's very versatile. Uh, prior to tonight, he needed only 20 digs to eclipse the 1,000 career marks uh, for, for digs in a career. He'll be our all-time leader for a number of years. One thing I found out this afternoon, he's the second all-time in 2015 in NCAA volleyball history in digs per set. So he was second in the nation, he's still second all-time of any libero. So that's, that's something to be very, very proud of. Now we've been riding around in buses and vans for four years, and the one thing I really and truly miss about Dustin is that unmistakable Dustin King laugh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a super senior, Dustin King. Fighter senior tonight will be a tough one to replace. First saw Matt at a junior qualifying tournament in Daytona Beach, Florida, playing out a Vanguard volleyball club out of Columbus, Ohio. Here was this huge guy flying up and down the net, blocking everything, hitting things down. I couldn't believe he was actually talking to me about coming to North Greenville. He's been very special. Uh, he came here and helped us establish our program as a legitimate NCAA Division I program. Two-time All-Conference Carolina selection, multiple national and Conference Carolina's Player of the Week. One of the leaders nationally in kill percentage and blocking. He'll conclude his career with over 950 kills and 250 total blocks. These records will stand for some time here in North Bingo. I won't be able to replace him on the court, but I'm going to keep him around as an assistant coach for a couple of years, so I'll have the McManaway family here for a great number of time. Now, they've all, they, we know that we know like that Ohio talent, so keep sending us some more. I know uh, Matt's sister Katie plays on our women's team here, so we'll have the McManaways in, in our program for some time to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been tough for me to, uh, to have to go through this ceremony tonight because he's all these gentlemen are very, very special to me. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce one of the best players I've ever coached, Matthew McManaway. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you, this is not our final home match. We host Belmont Abbey here next Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at our final regular season match. So I hope to invite everyone to come back one more time. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks, Limestone, for a great match. We'll see everybody Wednesday. Thank you. Truly a great, great accomplishment here by this North Greenville program. Four years through and finally getting, finally being able to graduate some seniors from this program that Coach Fred Benfield has literally built from scratch. So we will certainly miss Dustin King, Connor Ryan, completely forgot, forgot about Connor Ryan and his accomplishments in the first few years of this program. Dustin King, Connor Ryan, also Silas Jenkins, the closer. Matthew McManaway, Dion Vidal. Uh, those guys will be missed. Uh, Kyle Brandt using up his eligibility. I believe he was also, he spent a year on the NGU football team try, uh, at, a t at the tight end position. So I think that's where his other year of eligibility went.
Yeah, and all, all these guys have been fantastic for this program and many other programs for North Greenville. Kyle Brandt, two-sport athlete, as you already mentioned. Matthew McManaway bringing his sister along to come play women's volleyball. It's, it's a real family affair kind of deal. And the athletes here are all very special to this school. And these these guys, and like we were joking about it beforehand, that they're all getting some uh, recognition from Gene Fant down on the floor. Ah, the president presidents of North Greenville, along with athletic director Jan McDonald. Yeah, but this is four is a four year old program. Uh, came up in 2013, and now essentially the program itself has you it's had its four year run. It's it's legitimized all these guys, the guys who were here at the beginning. Are, all, are almost done. One more home match, as Coach Batfield already said, but just so close to having that four years under their belt and grab the, the sky's the limit for this team, but it's going to take a lot to replace these guys. That last home match against Belmont Abbey College next Wednesday at 7 p.m. We will bring that to you live here on the North Greenville Sports Network. And so we will officially sign off now. And so for Alan Ellis, I'm Grace Allen saying farewell here from Hayes Gymnasium with final score is North Greenville taking it over Limestone three sets to two. Special thanks to uh, Matt Vaughn for helping with today's game. Alec Haley, your producer. And don't forget to follow us on youtube.com forward slash North Greenville Sports Network. I think that's working again. Yeah. And keep up with us, at, keep up with the latest news at NGUathletics.com. This has been the presentation of NGU Men's Volleyball here on the North Greenville Sports Network.